The situation with Smith & Jones was really just a minor one for the agency. As chief superintendent, I had no real contact with either individual. I do know that both individuals were a bit of a concern to their superiors. Agent Jones was mid-level, not too bright, a bit overstressed. The last review hinted at being close to burnout. So they took Jones off active duty to work with trainees. The incident with Smith was Jones' last official duty. Smith, on the other hand, seems to have been quite brainy, but a bit unstable. Somehow, Smith got paranoid or some such nonsense, on drugs perhaps, or maybe just too much TV. <laughs> In any case, that vicious attack ended any hope of a career with us. We won't press charges. We just hope Smith gets help for some such. Well, that's all, really. For years, I was a top field agent reporting directly to the chief superintendent. My involvement started when this flaky mouth was uh, that Smith started bugging out. I was assigned to make sure Smith stayed with the program. He knew too much already. I actually took a liking to Smith. I started to feel that he really looked up to me and, and wanted my guidance. Nice to see you again, Smith. Agent Jones. We had good talks, and not like work, more like family. Still, I knew he was starting to freak out. I just didn't know how far it would go. In this business, danger is a very real companion. I should have known Smith would try to get the drop on me. I took a few stitches, but I've had worse. Smith will get it, but not for me. I'm retired, and I'm loving it. I got out of Caltech before I was 19. The agency heavily recruited me, taking me out, treating me like royalty. The superintendent personally told me I'd be tops in code work after the training period. They neglected to tell me that once I was in, I couldn't leave. Heard some bad stories of trainees having nasty accidents if they tried. They had this idiot, Agent Jones, always on top of me. We had these weird, creepy conversations. Can you feel the buzz? What buzz? All these secrets bubbling around like caffeine on the brain. If I left, would you hunt me down? Nobody leaves. Except for coffee. These nutcases take their games pretty seriously, so I started thinking it was time to clear out any way possible. I admit it, I was scared. Really scared. So I took things into my own hands. Only thing I could do. Now I'm just hoping to keep my skin intact. As for the agency, well, I hope they burn the joint down.